York. Ebro in the morning. So what's the girl to catch me outside, girls? Who you want to talk to me about? Well, I'm just saying you, you responded so viscerally just now. You were like, nah, I hate that girl. I do. And I'm saying my, that was my gut reaction too. But how different is her story from Cardi B? Very. To a, me. A, someone who came from nothing, who did whatever it took to get the look, got the look, got the writers, got the team right, and now she has a couple songs that are actually pretty good. So what's your is, is your question directly to me, what's the difference, or why do I like one versus the other? Yeah, why do you like Cardi B, but then your gut reaction with Bad Baby is I hate her? Well, initially, I guess it starts in the beginning when I first found out about them. It's Bad Baby, is that what it is? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, AKA. Catch me outside, how about that? I don't like when she was on Dr. Phil with her mom. That's where I first, and I was like, I'm not celebrating some little girl who won't listen to her mom and wants to fight the audience. Right, and... right, who's being super disrespectful. So I, I, signed off, I signed off from that. And then when they asked to come up here, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to sit across from some disrespectful little child. And I don't even know what I would talk to you about. Well, at the time, also, she had no music, so there really was nothing. It was like, just you bring, we you can't just interview disrespectful kids. That's not even I'm not thing. even doing that. Oh. So I didn't, and then until this Billboard ranking came out where she's listed with Nicki Minaj Cardi and B. Cardi B as the top females of 2017. Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Uh, top female rappers of 2017. I didn't even know she had music. I knew that Atlantic had signed a deal with her, and I know that a part of the label business model now is to sign these IG folks, create music. Figure out how to make it later. And right. well, no, and then they're not even make it. They don't care about us playing their music. Oh, just let the streams calculate. Let the streams calculate and make bread off the streams and the YouTube views and all that. That's how she got nominated for the Billboard. Yes. Right? So um, I didn't even know that was a thing, that her song was a thing. I, until right now, you just told me that, or no, Laura, you told me you was at a party, they played one on song. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Cardi, obviously, I live in New York City. So when I found out about Cardi B, it was a funny girl from the hood uptown on IG. See, but it's funny. This is what I'm trying to point out is, our reactions are cultural, meaning I was an a-hole about Cardi. Because when I first heard about her, I heard Stripper, mm -hmm. and I saw her videos where she was talking about really in-depth sexual stuff. Not that I'm some square, but I was like, I don't. And love and hip-hop is stuff that made me go, oh, this isn't good. You, the way you were introduced to Bad Baby, was her being disrespectful to her mom. I'm white. Being disrespectful to your mom is nothing. That's light work. That's what you <laughs> said every day. So... Now, granted, I was pretty revolted by Bad Baby at first also, but my question now is, if she has good songs and she found a way to get on the way she got on, ultimately, they both got on through methods that some people could question morally. Mm -hmm. How different are they? Well, I think at this point, you're right. And we can't really but I didn't even know about her songs until the other day. Like, I didn't even know that was no, a me, thing. Listen, me neither. Until yesterday. Let me not I didn't like, know no. that was a thing. But then I, but I, I heard a couple of the songs. And I, I think they're going to be a thing. I think this is going to be a well, thing. Well, it's we already a thing, according to Laura Styles. Yeah. Well, I was really surprised. I was like, what is this? And then uh, my friend Carvin was like, this is Bad Baby. Wow. And I was like, what? But I, And I will say, at 43 years old, working at Hot 97, which is a local New York radio station, I don't have to care about Bad Baby. She's not from New York. Right. Until it, it would, she'd have to make it to a certain place where it's truly Cardi B's face. from uptown. We know her. We know people like her. It's, like you said, it's cultural. It relates to my life. I get it. That's why I care about Cardi B. And then I met Cardi B, and guess what? She's super nice, not disrespectful, happy to be here. Well, guess what? That's what Humble. I saw Lil Yachty yesterday, and that's what he told me about Bad Baby. He was he was like, there you go. He was like, I love her. She's the most positive person. She's great. She's really cool. She's making good songs. She's awesome. And I was like, oh, okay. So is she really from trash? Then I there's that part. Is she really? I, I don't, is she really this? I don't know if you can fake that kind of trash. At the beginning. I, I listen to this. I think you can. You can I, I think you can. can. There's a little nine year old girl that's on uh, on IG and she's like flashing her money like yo sock. Whatever her little accent is, trying to sound hood. She ain't from the hood. She doesn't have folks who are uneducated and immigrants in her family that she's have nine, nothing. And somebody's filming her, putting her up to all of this. Well, I don't know. That's a separate conversation about No, but it's a, for me, sure. it's a part of the conversation because I know where Cardi's from. So I, right, get right, the, right. I get what it is. It's a real thing. Whether she writes her lyrics or not, so whatever, whatever. if you were to find out that, in fact, Bad Baby is from true white trashdom, that really was her upbringing. And this is who she is and she. And then I would probably, I would probably start to open my mind to it.
I'm just yeah. That's the same thought I had because yesterday I said the same thing. I was like, I hate her, and then I was like, but why? Does she affect anything negatively? Does it matter? Does it and really I'll, matter? And, and I'll do this right. too. I'll do this too. Um, I understand Cardi B, right? Culturally, where she's from, all of that, and I know why she speaks the way she speaks, right? And because she is a from a first generation immigrant. And her mom did whatever she had to do and things were tough and whatever in her family, whatever, whatever the story is, I understand what she is. I just don't, I don't like the glorification of hood stuff, which is the way I don't like Takashi 6 9 either. There's things that I let fly by, like when songs get popular, but y'all know me. I don't like glorification of gang stuff at all. I take it very, very personal because people die. I don't like it. But does that relate to Bad Baby? No, she's glorifying being just trashy. But so is Cardi in a different way, right? Yes, but I, like I said, but I understand right, why that's your Cardi's own, so it's your own personal it. bias. Right. Like, this is the trashy yes. I know versus the trashy, trashy I, I don't, don't know. know. Right. God, I appreciate the honesty on it, because I was just thinking about it, too.